Hi everyone, this is a Taurus reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and also cross watchers as well. Thank you everyone for watching. I do appreciate you tuning in. So I've done a pre-shuffle so we can jump straight into this reading to save time. So to outline the reading, we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. And we've got express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And we have flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. And we've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's right. So let's get to the tarot. And tap into the energies surrounding this situation. Do a free card spread. Get the current situation, get the obstacle and the advice. It's given us ten of wands, four of cups, and the sun, which is Leo energy. So we'll clarify. We've got the lovers, Gemini energy, ace of pentacles, and page of wands. Further clarified with king of wands, seven of cups. And Queen of Cups. Okay. Right, so I can see here that uh, with this Ten of Wands energy, some of you may be feeling like you're going through um, a really stressful time. It looks like uh, your current circumstances is really heavy right now. It's uh, really stressful right now. And uh, it just feels like uh, you're going through an uphill struggle. Yeah. It just feels like an uphill struggle. Some of you could be really stressed during this time. Your circumstances is really stressful. It's burdensome. Yeah, we've got the sun in reverse. You might have Leo in your chart. Yeah, four of cups. Some of you, uh, your circumstances may be really depressing you during this time, it looks like. You may feel a bit depressed. Your circumstances right now is just, uh, it's not making you happy, it looks like. It's an uphill struggle. Every day is an uphill struggle. For some of you, it's like a, a struggle to even get out of bed. With that sun in reverse. Yeah, it's a struggle to even get out of bed even. Every day just feels like an uphill struggle. It's just heavy. Circumstances is just really heavy right now. And, uh, but what I can see here with this lover's energy, you have a love connection with someone that is really weighing heavy on you. On top of everything else, it looks like you're missing someone here. And this is what's giving you more burden. It's, it's weighing heavy. Yeah, it looks like you're missing someone. Some of you might have Leo in your chart. We've got King of Wands here. Strong Leo energy. Or you might have Aries or Sagittarius in your chart. But it looks like you're missing someone. Someone that you got this love connection with. Yeah. It's heavy and it's weighing heavy at this point during this time. It's like you're really yearning for someone here. You got a connection. You got the Queen of Cups here. So you got a connection with uh, someone that is in this Queen of Cups energy. So they could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So, yeah, this is a love connection between 
this king of wands and this king of cups here so it, it looks like it's a really strong passionate connection you have here it looks like a spiritual connection twin flames with this lover's energy you might have gemini in your chart or this person might have gemini in their chart but this is strong gemini energy and uh this is a strong passionate connection here and clearly you guys are separated we've got the sun in reverse so that shows me you know this is why you are feeling like this it's a strong connection it's intense you miss them you miss them i can see all you do is just fantasize and daydream yeah you daydream about this person a lot seven of cups four of cups a lot of daydreaming fantasizing yeah it's like you want to reach out page of wands page of wands in reverse you want to reach out you want to reach out you really do badly king of wands as well in reverse but for some reason yeah just uh holding back holding back yeah we've got flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others <laughs> yeah you really want to reach out here it's heavy it's heavy Oh, so yeah, it looks like there is a new beginning. There is a new beginning here, Ace of Pentacles. In the upright, it looks like there is a new beginning. Because it's like you want to express your love, this is what I'm saying. We've got to express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It's like you want to express your love here, but it's for some reason you're holding back. I mean, take it how it resonates, because it could be, you know, vice versa. I could be reading this vice versa. For some of you, this could be someone feeling about feeling like this towards you. Here. Yeah. You have someone that is thinking about you heavily during this time. They're fantasizing about you. They want to express their love here. Make them a romantic gesture. You know, flirt. They're really fantasizing about you during this time. And they want to reach out. They want to reach out to you. This is what I can see. This person is yearning for you. This is what I could see. This this yearning going on here. Take it how it resonates. You both could be feeling like this. I mean, for some of you, you could be thinking about this person as well. This person that's yearning for you, that wants to reach out to you. You could be thinking about each other during this time. You're probably, um, you know, picking up the energies because the energies in this connection looks really heavy. So if you do find yourself being nostalgic and thinking about this person, it's because they're thinking about you really heavily during this time. You're picking up the energies. It's weighing you down as well. For some of you, you might feel really down and weighed down during this time and missing this person, feeling like, you know, you're thinking about this person heavily. The emotions are heavy. Because this person is strongly thinking about you. You're strongly... You're both thinking about each other. I, I don't know. I'm really picking it up here. It's heavy. You're both missing each other. Yeah, for some of you, you're thinking about this person because this person is really fantasizing about you and wishing they could be with you right about now. This is what I can see. Yeah, this person, they, they daydream a lot about um, about the two of you together. 
they fantasize a lot about the two of you together There's a lot of um, wishful thinking going on here fantasizing daydreaming very nostalgic it's like this person sees you as a missed opportunity here yeah this person they regret missing opportunity with you here they're just wishing things could be different Yeah, it's like they fantasise about what you guys could have been. I'm channeling that song. Um, who sings that song? Uh, we could have been if we tried to pretend. Her. Yes, her. H-E-R, her. She got a song with um, Bryson Tiller. Yes, could have been. What we could have been. We could have been. We could have been. Yes, that's the song I'm channeling. Yes. For some of you, you might know that song. I'm, uh, you know, it might be your favourite song or something. I just, I don't know, but I'm just hearing that song in my head. This is, this is what I'm channeling for this energy here. This person is just fantasising about what you guys could have been. If they didn't miss the opportunity with you. You know, you both could be thinking about each other during this time heavily, thinking about what what you guys could have been if things was different. If you guys done things differently, you know, you don't know what you guys could have been. But we have got wedding. It says this situation involves marriage. It looks like this is what you could have been if things was different. If things worked out differently in the past, you guys could have been married by now. It looks like. It's like you guys are meant to be. Because we've got the lovers here. This is a strong soulmate twin flame connection. So it's like you guys are destined to be. This is this is your destiny, really. This is what you could have been. Married. <laughs> this is what this person, I feel like this... So this person's fantasizing just with the ace of cups i really feel like this person is this is what they dream they dream about being with you in a solid committed relationship here this is what they're fantasizing about they really miss you they really miss you they, they're yearning for you i mean or you're yearning for this person. Take it how it resonates, vice versa. The energies are interchangeable with these readings, so you're going to have to take it how it resonates. And for some of you, this could be how you both feel about each other during this time. You're both thinking about each other and fantasizing and daydreaming. And it's heavy. The energy is heavy between you guys right back now. I can see it's heavy. You're both thinking about each other, that's why. Both missing each other. Yeah. It just looks like the issue in this situation is someone's not really stepping into their power. I can see here the King of Wands is in reverse. It's goes to show that who whoever's in this King of Wands energy is not stepping into their power. Because the Queen of Cups here, this feminine energy is in the upright. It just goes to show that, you know, Queen of Cups open to love right now. This feminine energy is open to love right now. Yeah, but this masculine energy is not in their power. Because King of Wands is a leader, you know. Someone that's confident. Someone that's a go-getter. You know. And in reverse, this is someone that's not in their power. They lack confidence. There's a lack of confidence here. This person's not stepping into their power. They're not going for what they want. Holding back. Holding back. I'm hearing out of fear. This person's got fear issues. Ego issues. Yeah, that's what's blocking this person, really. They're getting in their own way, it looks like. Yeah, if you're in this energy, 
If this is you that wants to reach out here, yeah, you're blocking your own blessings. You're getting in your own way. It's time to free yourself. Yeah, this is why we've got to free yourself. It says, time to take back control of your life. Yeah, King of Wands. Yeah, this is a leader. In the upright, King of Wands is a leader. The energy of someone that takes control. You know, they know what they want and they go for it. They're confident as well. This is someone that's not in control. They're not taking control. They're keeping themselves trapped for whatever reason. They're keeping themselves trapped. Yeah, in stressful circumstances. They're keeping themselves trapped in this depressing circumstance. Yeah, they have the power to change yeah, if you're if you're yeah if you're the one keeping yourself trapped in this unhappy, unhealthy, unhappy situation, you have the power to free yourself. King of Wands. I mean, the power is all within you. I mean, it's just time to take the lead, step into your power. I feel like it looks like this person is uh, lacking self belief, a lack of self belief, self confidence here. Maybe there's regrets. There's a lot of regrets here. And fears. This is the issue. Because. Yeah. Queen of Cups is in the upright. Ready for love. Open to love. And this masculine energy. King of Wands. Is. Uh doesn't look like they're available during this time they're, they're stressed and depressed and just staying in the negative here you know not really taking much action king of wands takes action this person's not taking action you know they're doing more fantasizing than taking action during this time a lot of daydreaming fantasizing wishful thinking Yeah, but they are daydreaming. It looks like, yeah, they are daydreaming about this new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of daydreaming about this new beginning. This is what I can see. Yeah, that song really resonates. Yeah, you need to, if you know that song, if you, those you know... Then you know. But if you don't know, look it up. That song by her. H-E-R. Bryson Tiller. What we could have been. This is what I'm I'm picking up for this energy here. Like someone's really nostalgic during this time. Heavy nostalgia. In this connection here you got with this person. Yeah, heavy nostalgia. Think about you all day long. We got heartbroken. It says deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah, with that sun in reverse. It's depressing. Someone's really depressed here. Really sad, depressed, hurt. Yeah, this is what it is. Yeah, there's heartbreak in this situation. There's heartbreak. So, uh, yeah. Looks like healing needs to take place here. Maybe I feel like this person, you know, they want to come towards you here. I mean, if you're the one in this feminine energy queen of cups this person really wants to come towards you here they are this separation from you is painful it looks like it, it is painful and uh it looks like they need to take these steps they need to step into their power and you know do what's right for them and express their love in order to help them heal because it's weighing them down. I feel like this love that they have for you, it's, it's a lot. It's weighing them down. It's heavy. 
they miss you you know but they just I feel like they just need to free themselves from what's blocking them you know they just need to free themselves you know and then if if it's the other way around and it's you that need that wants to reach out to someone here and free yourself then it looks like it's important because you know I feel like the feelings are mutual the love and attraction here in this connection is mutual and like I said queen of cups is in the upright open to love open ready to love to receive love you know so if it's you that wants to give the love then it will be received this is what I can see yeah oh you guys we could have been if we tried to pretend oh we don't dream about or think about what we could have been so, so what we got here it's a lot going on uh, seduction <laughs> oh the passion is insane it looks like this person is so attracted to you yeah they really think this king of wands oh they really think that you're sexy yeah there's a lot of passion here that lover's energy strong passion and chemistry here you know we've got flirt and then we've got seduction yeah this person they have got the hearts for you the chemistry in this connection is insane Oh, this person is yearning. You guys are both yearning for each other, I feel. You probably have, like, telepathic sex and stuff like that. Because <laughs> there's a lot of fantasizing going on here. This person is strongly fantasizing about you here. Oh, my gosh. I'm hearing... Oh, my God, really? <laughs> I'm hearing this person gets off on your pictures... Like, they look at your pictures. Oh, my God. And get off on your pictures. Really? Spirit guides? Oh, my spirit guides are not easy. Seriously. Yeah, they're really fantasizing about you. They're yearning for you. Temptation, attraction, flirting, dating. Yeah, this person's going to be all over you. They feel like you are so sexy. They miss you. This person misses you. Wow. So, uh, this is what they're thinking about right now, seducing you. <laughs> Heavy seducing. What else we got? Soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contracts. This is it. This is why the energy is so heavy between you guys. You guys are soulmates. That's, well, I already said that. Twin flames even. Because, like, yeah, it's insane. It's, it's really heavy. It's really heavy. You guys are meant to be. This is what I'm saying. Passion. Look, we've got passion. Insane chemistry. You like each other equally. Having fun. <sighs> the passion is insane. This person's yearning for your body. But you know what? I feel like this person is missing more than just your body you know it's not just sex I feel I feel like it's more than that this person's missing more than just your body we've got the sun I feel like it's your whole energy you know this person misses it's your energy it's your essence this is what it is yeah this is what it is both ways I feel like you know, you feel like this about this person. They feel like that about you. They miss more than just your body. It's your whole essence. It's you, you know. Yeah, you guys are meant to be. This is what you could have been. If things was different, this is what you could have been. But hopefully, you know, things may turn around. Because the energy is strong here. So this is what you may end up being. It looks like in the situation, because this situation involves marriage, no doubt about that. 
so i hope this reading helps you guys that's the messages for this reading give me some feedback click the like button until the next time take care